All right, so Drew is making a homemade atomizer, right? Right. If we don't have an atomizer, we can make this to, what we use this for, maybe a peritonsal abscess, awake intubation, NG tube. Right. Okay, so tell us what you have here. All right, so I've got a um, long 14 gauge angiocatheter with no needle. Okay. I've got a three-way stopcock and you with it. all of the ports open. Okay, got it. And I've got oxygen tubing hooked up to a wall oxygen source. Okay. And I'm going to turn that on to uh, five liters per minute. Right. And we just have saline, but we would use 4% lidocaine, right? Right. So I hooked up the uh, angiocath on one end. I'm going to put the saline flush on this bottom port. And we found it's best if you kind of hold it straight up and down like that because the air is going to try to go in the syringe, right? Right. Okay. And uh, here we go, going to atomize onto this paper towel. Yeah. And then when you want to stop, you just release on the plunger, right? You can control it. Okay. When it's in the position like that. Very cool. Nice.